welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would highlight some differences between Arab or Arabian styled makeup versus Western type of makeup. Now I know those two worlds have kind of merged because of social media and the web, but I feel like those two worlds still do makeup a little bit differently than each other. Also this video is not me trying to stereotype Arabian style makeup versus American makeup. Um, this is just my opinion. This is just little old me's opinion. And some differences that I do notice between the two. Like I said, this is just my opinion. Um, you guys probably maybe have a different opinion. But yeah, let's just get right into the video. So I'll be putting the American makeup on my left side and the Arabian on the right. So in general, the Arabian world tends to lean towards a more lighter skin tone, so something that's going to make your skin look very doll-like and bright. For example, Nancy Ezram right here. And in the Western world, people love to make their skin look tanned, or if not, just have their foundation match their skin tone. But in general, having your skin look glowing and like you were vacationing in Hawaii is the most sought after color. Now, I was having some trouble with finding a difference between how Arabs generally highlight and contour versus Westerners, but highlighting and contouring has been a really big thing in America, using contour to create a more chiseled nose, cheeks, jawlines, and it's even used for body parts like the chest, the legs, and pretty much anything else. So the pinnacle of a great eyebrow for Americans are ones that have an arch and ones that are filled in with a pop of highlight just under the brow to make that brow bone really pop out. And in the Arab world, really skinny eyebrows used to be huge, but I've started to notice that very filled in dark eyebrows have become a really big trend in the Arab world and I would say even more so than in the Western world. Americans love making their eyes look very big, so that's why highlighters are used around the tear ducts to open up the eyes and darker eyeshadows are applied along the lash line instead of the waterline. And of course cat eyes are very popular. So Arabian eyes are known for being really seductive, Arab women are not scared to use makeup to bring out their eye features, and a cat liner above the lid is preferred, and then coho is used inside the waterline to give off that intense look. And of course, Arab women and Western women love mascara. Nude colors have been a really big trend in the Western world. Nude pinks, nude peaches, and of course, nude matte lipstick. Now, Arab women are definitely not scared to play with intense bright colors on their lips, no matter what kind of makeup that they may have on their eyes. Now even though hair isn't makeup related, I thought I would touch on this. Really big and voluminous hair is definitely something Western women love. And while Arab women do love that too, they tend to lean towards straight hair that is super long. So I really hope you guys liked that video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I can't believe that we're already at 200k. Like that's crazy. Thank you so much for that. Lots of love sending to you guys. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon.